Here we go. State of Origin, the decider. Exclusive live and free right here on Nine. Queensland hosting New South Wales at Suncorp Stadium. Let's head to the commentary box now. Andrew Johns, Cameron Smith, and it's a very good evening, Matthew Thompson. Good evening, James. A journey that commenced in Sydney, traversed the country to Western Australia. Tonight reaches its summit at the spiritual home of Origin Football, Lang Park as it was, Suncorp Stadium as it is now. Look at this scene. The anticipation and excitement is palpable. The nation sits on the edge of its collective seat. Origin number 126. The decider for Airpol State of Origin 2022 is off. Rapturous noise around Suncorp and Junior Poldor with the first carry for the Blues. Up straight, got away, Patrick. A defensive assault in the first tackle of the game. Now Trupo. Great line speed already, Jeremiah Nanai. One of the four Cowboys in the Queensland side tonight, the tackler, and now Jake Trebojevic. New South Wales can't find their 20-metre line just yet. They go over it now as Yo battles with Collins and Papa Lee and the Queensland a chance. It emanates around this wonderful cauldron inside a minute of the game. Cleary with his opening clearance taken by the returning Corey Oates. He returns to the Queensland side oh. for the first time since 2019, but we have a problem with Cameron Murray. He has wobbled badly out of that. And they're in amongst the already two teams. Corey Oates with a big return of the football. And that's why he's been included in this Maroons outfit. He carries the ball back as strong as anyone, and oh, just a head clash. Cam Murray, he's had a couple of head knocks the last six weeks. Well, wow. I'd say, yeah, I think the trainer's bringing him from the field now, Joey. It's a big blow for the Blues early on. Queensland claims an early scalp. Angus Crichton into the game for New South Wales after a minute. Well, that is a cruel blow. So Cameron Murray to be assessed. On, Here's Josh Papali. He, he needs a game tonight. His output very limited in the opening two origins and a, a run on debut for Patrick Carrigan. The only Queensland forward to go past the 100 running metres in game two in Perth. Dearden with his first touch as a Queensland origin footballer. He found capable with an inside pass. And Corusal and Jake Trebojevic, the tacklers now hunt kicking for an acting half. And top off races back and this is good energy on kick chase here by Queensland. The crowd appreciate it. And Burton oh. is nailed. Oh, they came running from everywhere to put a shot on. No, stay away, stay and away, New stay South away. Wales didn't like the treatment for that gun centre. Guys off. Untangle. There's a Queenslander the down on the floor. I think it's Selwyn Cobo. Hey, Patrick! Jerome! Oh no, this young man. He's in Disneyland. Patrick! Patrick! What an extraordinary start to the Origin decider. Physicality like we have not seen before. Oh, oh it's friendly fire. He's collected the, the right hip of Patrick Carrigan. Now, this is... He gets his head in an awkward position. And he's... Oh, let's hope he's OK. The intensity is remarkable. And Selwyn Cobbo, some obvious concern, as is the case when, when there's any issues with 
uh, the head or the neck region. All the Queensland medical staff having a look and they are asking for the stretcher now. That's the blow that saw Murray sideline. Corey Oates running back with real venom. And then this one, Andrew. Early in the game, Cameron, when it's really on, we can see how physical. What was your mindset going into big collisions like this? Well, <laughs> well I think it was technique first, but the way both of these sides have started, Joey, it's just, it's all out warfare. And I think that just, it shows everyone watching at home and in the stands what this means to both football teams. So an extended break here is Selwyn Cobbo. He's attended to, it's the origin decider from Suncorp. Ferocious start to origin three. Now Selwyn Cobbo, uh, thankfully, is on his feet and uh, will be driven off the ground still, but he's been allowed to to get up off the ground. Uh, Darren Lockyer, sideline for us tonight. The most extraordinary physical confrontations to start and a moment uh, coming up here for the first game of Tom Gilbert. Yeah, he's going to be coming into the game a lot earlier than he thought. Tom Gilbert making his debut. I would say Gagai will move to the wing and Kirk Capewell will go to the right centre. So an early shuffle for the Maroons. Selwyn Cobbo, hey, right we might, that might be the end of his night, but we'll keep keep you updated. Okay, come on, don't balk it, play the ball, go. And the two coaches, that must be tense in their respective Ooh, coaches' boxes. Go, the hostilities resume, and Yo away for Junior Polo. Played 43 minutes off the bench in game number two. Now Martin this time. Tamora Terrier. And Cleary goes skybound. The first touch for Kalen Ponga in the Origin decider tonight. Yet to score a try after seven Origin appearances and such an important link for Queensland tonight with no Cameron Munster. Oh. There's another big one. Oates taken down. That shook the stadium. Now Holmes. Pinching yardage from dummy half, a fast play the ball. Hunt with a scoop and Carrigan with a run that takes Queensland over the halfway. Jake Trebojevic the tackler. Now Cherry Evans linking up with Josh Papali'i. His 23rd origin appearance. He plays the ball in the centre of Suncourt and Cherry Evans sends a spiral bomb down to his opposite skipper, James Tedesco. He was man of the match in the last Origin game played here at Suncourt game two last year. Danica Mason, some injury news. Yes, a huge blow for the Blues. Unfortunately, Cameron Murray, his night is over. He will not be returning. Oh, he was classified as a Category 1. Lindsay Collins has gone. Oh, it's oh. Yes. This is on his Roosters teammate, Daniel Tupo. Yeah, there's an error here, oh, Cameron. Daniel Tupo. Right, Just hold it up, guys. Daniel Tupo playing the ball actually drops the ball. Oh. oh, it was Tom Gilbert. He come in and put the right shoulder into Daniel Tupo, which knocked him into Lindsay Collins. Oh, have you seen a start no, to an origin? Not for a long time. With like this, with tackling techniques have changed over the years. We're now. They don't like to drive in so much with their shoulders. It's all about control. This is this is a throwback to the 80s. Yeah, it's it's three, three off. Yep. And Tina Fasul Malawi now. The Gold Coast Titans captain. Moved to a bench roll tonight. Well, he's out there inside three and a half minutes. This is remarkable. As if the Suncorp crowd needed any more motivation, they are right up for this. It feels, it feels like a, a kind of second now. Bombs away, Burton with his first aerial raid. It, it didn't go too far forward. It went a heck of a way in the air, and the ball's actually bouncing almost from where he kicked it and over the touchline. 
Well, that was great kick pressure there on Matt Burton. And it come from Patrick Carrigan from marker. He's seen he drifted in field. Like he did many times in game two. Time it's a good result for Queensland. Will this game settle? Played by Fasul Malawi. And that is Terry Evans now. The oldest player on the park tonight. In his 19th game for his state. The ball swung left now. Dearden and Ponga. And the pass underneath to Gilbert. The tear away from Townsville. Played his junior football at the North Devils. Just up the road from here. Here's Fasul Malawi. Knocked over in a Luai Legs tackle. Ah, uh, set restart for Queensland now. Here's Hunt. And Josh Parpley, he heavy involvement from the big Canberra prop. It goes to Tino and one-on-one Jake Trebojevic. With an important tackle, but the Maroons are right down on New South Wales' doorstep now. Carrigan. They bumped away from Polor and Coruscant with a one-on-one -on -one tackle. Three metres out, they will raise the roof if Queensland can score first, and Ponga's pass is out in front of Gagai. And Kalen Ponga watching the Blues' defence and reacting. And this is good signs, even though the ball went over the sideline. He's watching the defence and reacts. Didn't see Dane Gagai. Wasn't watching his own players. He was watching the Blues' defence. But they weren't on the same page. Use the foot! Gagai was right in field. Even though they went over the sideline, they reacted to what the defence was doing. Here goes Brian Topbot, the metre eater from Mount Druitt. 291 metres for New South Wales in game number two over in Perth. And now Polor played the chorus out. Skipper, the heartbeat of the Blues, James Tedesco. Up on the halfway. Morris out with a dash and then an offload to a supporting Isaiah Yo. 11 metres Queensland side of the halfway. Luai pressured heavily. And, and that, that is a mantra for Queensland. It's been a paramount in their thinking during the week. Pressure the kickers. Nathan Cleary sublime in that area. The Blues knocks a big win in game number two. And that was their best set, the Blues. They just went run for run in behind the Queensland markers. They found some space in a roll on as Ponga goes away. Off the offload, Ponga tries to find some territory. He's passed exactly. by Isaiah Yo, right time. over near the sideline. Now Dearden. And Hunt standing at second receiver. Finds Cherry Evans. Oh, and a ball feet. away for Nanai, who has sparkling footwork. And Capewell for Gagai, who has to come back infield. He got it back to Capewell. Queensland showing some pizzazz. Back to Dearden. Dearden digs into the line where he's tackled by Liam Martin. And now Gilbert. with the territorial advantage through the early stages. Dearden with a kick now. And Nanai oh. with the ball back. Josh Papali'i. The front rower will get the try for Queensland. And the reception speaks for itself. Well, he's got no Just try. He goes backwards. He did turn his body, so I don't know. I went forward, I should say. I think he went back he and his hit body. his leg and went for it. Well, he was facing backwards, Joey, when he receives this kick. Every Queensland chaser's onside. The right and, side from Queensland is onside. And his target was his Cowboys teammate, Jeremiah Nenai. He showed this year how good he is in the air. It comes off his knee and comes back and hits Just his looking shoulder. to determine if there's a knock-on or a knock-back from Jeremiah Nenai. The ball goes back and then hits his knee and then it comes back forward. And then it hits his arm there and goes forward. The first touch from Jeremiah Nenai does go backwards. It then goes forward off his arm on the second touch. We have a decision. <laughs> the crowd heard the first bit, not the second. They're they going to get a rude shock. They all went up <laughs> when they heard backwards. Yeah. 
So that's that's an interesting little play, that Cameron. He's such a a wonderful aerial exponent, isn't he? Close to my and Nanai. And a hold here, Dally. A 14 oh, tries God. in the competition this year for a back rower. His record is phenomenal. Now there's an attempt at a one-on-one -on -one pitch here, but the Blues have maintained it. We just spoke about his ability to score tries this year, Matty. The majority of those 14, they have been off kicks. And that just showed there the combination of the two Cowboys players, Tom Deard and, and Nanai. There's a powerful run by Crichton. And Polo off of Isaiah Young inside pass. More news down at the sideline. Yes, a huge setback for the Queensland side. Selwyn Cobbo and Lindsay Collins have both been categorised as Category 1, so that means that neither of them will be back on the field tonight. Well, we've seen some brave Queensland wins across the years. If they had a win here, this would surely rank amongst them. We have a penalty oh, hit. Oh, Burton's, Burton's been collared. There was a There's another shot. one. There was a high shot from Big Tino. And he didn't miss. Oh. No, he didn't miss with that one. Didn't miss the big boy. They're looking at it. They're still looking at it. But the intensity in this game. Yeah, I'm a swinger. Or... Ooh. He's lucky not, he's not sin bin, mate. Let us deal with that. The intensity in this game, once it settles down, this is really going to open up. Well, you're right, they've used so much energy in these opening exchanges, haven't they, Joey? We get to play 10 minutes of football. This thumbs up on Burton, boys. Well, it's uh, the advantage of kicking off. Feels like the opening nine minutes has all been down New South Wales' end. Well, I think in, particularly in these big matches, that just allows you to get in the game, allows you to take yourself to the game physically. Well, this is foreign territory for New South Wales. They haven't been anywhere near Queensland's line. So Jake Trebojevic, Coruscant for Yohan. Hold on, look at that. He targeted Ben Hunt. But... Uh, the Queensland number nine thrives in this arena and he stood up to the task. Now, Yo playing flat to Draboyevich. Carrigan with a one on one tackle. Jake scurries to his feet. Coruscant. Yo for Cleary. William Martin, whose legs were taken away, and a very good tackle by Dearden. Four short of the line. Tedesco with a one hander. Coruscant over to Cleary. Cleary looks out now to Jake Draboyevich, and Cherry Evans gets him very well one on one. 13 metres out. Nathan Cleary. A dink towards the end goal, and this is too long. That's an uncharacteristic uh, error of judgment by the New South Wales number seven. Yeah, it is uncharacteristic by Nathan Cleary. He had a little bit of time there to sum that up. Let's have a look at the intensity. Metres per minute. New South Wales, 106.4. Queensland, 96.3. That Telstra tracker just shows the intensity of this game. NRL average, look at that, 86. Look at the New South Wales, 106. This goes to show the speed and the intensity at this level. Telstra Tracker shows it beautifully. Just with those HIA issues, boys, if Queensland are to lose one more player to a HIA, that means Thomas Flegler can be activated. Yes, the 18th man. So Cherry Evans for Nanai. Backhanded ball was beautiful. Caper with a kick. Capel chasing. Tedesco gets back in cover. But there is real enterprise for Queensland down this right-hand edge. That's their second line break. And look at this now. The Maroon machine driving. What a tackle. The Blues are caught in goal. An extraordinary start to the Origin decider. Unrivaled passion for both states. It doesn't get any better. Let's go to Billy Slater. And thanks for your time, Billy. Obviously, some concern for you with two players gone for the remainder of the game early. OK, we've just got a little issue, but we will get to Billy. Uh, I'm sure he's got enough on his plate trying to... Trying to uh, go, juggle all the pieces there. Uh, that's 
that's as alarmed as Billy has looked all series. So Cleary resumes. Ponga will send Josh Papali'i back. The deciders in origin have been the domain of Queensland across the years. They've won 14 of the 21. And they have won the last five deciders played here in Queensland in succession. Ponga now. He's pushed over in the ruck, and uh, the referee doesn't take action there. The Queensland wanted wanted some kind of response from Ashley Klein. It's not forthcoming as Ben Hunt goes to deal at NRM. Well, it was one well done there by the rookie, the man on debut, Tom Dearden. And again, the combination of those Cowboys players. He summed it up beautifully. On the Harvey Norman replay, he just took on that right-hand short side of the Blues. And Val Holmes, he sensed there was an opportunity and he just punched the hole right in between Stephen Crichton and Tupo. He's done that so many times before in that Maroon jersey, Val Holmes. It's a great start by the Queensland side. An 11th origin try for North Queensland's Valentine Holmes. And the embrace of the newcomer, Tom Dearden, is obvious to everyone here. They raced over to him. Well done, Tom. There's a way to announce yourself on this stage. Well, it was man on man, wasn't it? It was four on four down that short side, Joey. It was poor marker play. Liam Martin got caught up at marker, which then put pressure on Isaiah Yeo, the first defender off the ruck. And there was a man left on the ground for New South Wales. That was a big thing there. The man on the ground, after a strong charge, I think it was Carrigan, made yeah, the big Pat, charge. Pat Carrigan. So despite two crushing early setbacks, Queensland on the board first in the decider for 2022. Holmes to convert his own try. A breathtaking evening at Suncorp. Queensland riding the passion of their fans and the Blues paddling hard against them in the early exchanges. Here's Tino Fasua Malaawi. Tackled by Angus Crichton. He's in for a long shift tonight, Angus. Oh, no, Dearden. He recovered. And that's the important part. The pass missed the target, but Dearden picked it up in a dangerous situation. I heard him in pre-game, a lot of the Queenslanders and Billy Slater talking about ball movement, looking to move the ball. In game oh. two, they got bogged down in the middle of the field. A lot more offloads already in the opening 15 minutes, but also ball movement. Here they go again. A wide pass from Ben Hunt found Josh Papali'i and Jack Trebojevic in there with that customary wrestling style of tackle. And a, a kick from Terry Evans from inside his 20. He's hit that beautifully. It spirals down the centre of Suncorp Stadium for James Tedesco, who captains his state for the eighth time tonight. And they've just won a little bit of a territorial battle back there, New South Wales. A tackle count restart as well. Brian Totlaw played the chorus out. And Cleary will find Daniel Tupo. The work of the back three for New South Wales in Perth was quite extraordinary. 720 running metres between 40% of the overall yardage gained by the Blues came from those three players. As Polo ran incisively there, and then clearly has a look. He doesn't like what he sees, so he dumps it to Yo. And the Blues are tackled outside the Maroons. 20. Cleary for the line, and now Crichton. Secured by Cherry Evans in the tackle. Corus out. Way to the number seven. He's kicking for Crichton, who can leap. He left early. 
And Holmes, he doesn't do much wrong in this arena, does he, Valentine Holmes? The quintessential origin professional. Great defence from Queensland. Put plenty of question marks, especially to their edge defence out wide. Handling it well, Queensland. Here's uh, Ponga playing the ball, and now Carrigan. A big game from Patrick Carrigan. Might see him win Queensland's player of the series. He's been dynamic. It's taken a rebound, and Ponga dashes up the middle. Ponga is knocked over in a covering tackle by Luai. Oh, no. Is he? No, he's Busted. okay. He's okay. Cherry Evans for Nanai, who juggled and somehow maintained control and was able to flick the ball back to Capewell, uh, but he is dragged down. Well, 17 minutes into the game, Jeremiah Nanai has had some touches early in his origin career, which are just top shelf. Lucky. Yeah, with Lindsay Collins not returning, Josh Papali will have to play longer minutes. You see him there at marker. He is starting to fatigue. He only played 20 minutes first game and less than that in game two. So he's going to have to push through the pain barrier right now, the next 10 minutes. Yeah, 22 and 26 minutes he stinks in the opening two games. There's a run. Tedesco rushing onto it, trying to get his team on the front foot. Now, Corris Howard blind. Oh. He's a clear he runs onto one off his club number nine. At a Panther combination in action there. Tedesco once again, and Polor. Dearden with a good tackle on a much bigger man. Coruscant for Nathan Cleary, a kick through the line. They're coming from everywhere! It's Daron Luai, who scores for the second time in origin. Well, he stumbled, but I think he got there, Jerome Luai. And it's just combinations all over the park, isn't it, Joey? Oh, the rack attack. It was started by their captain, Tedesco. And then they stayed there for two or three plays. Just attacking the ruck. In particular, Josh Papali'i. Harvey Norman replay. He thinks pass. Looks up. Grubbers it. Does he get it down? Stumbles. Oh. Yeah, he gets oh. it down. Oh. That is some effort. It was beautiful play. Great lead up. And it started by their captain, Tedesco. Made a dint. Coruscant went, went to Nathan Cleary. They get the quick play of the ball. Nathan Cleary. Great kick. Paul Gallon. Yeah, as you said, Joey, some great attack there. Started from a run from James Tedesco, but it was on the back of their defence. Had two or three sets of sits, but they kept Queensland inside their 40 metre zone. Gave them field position and a beautiful kick to the line and Jerome Lewis stumbled, stumbled, but got there at the end of the day. Boys, if you have a look up in the sky, there's a full moon tonight. We all know how much Freddie loves a full moon. It's a breakout series for Lewis. He, he scored a, a great individual try in Perth, set up to, to start the series in Sydney, and, and for him to have the composure to not panic there, Andrew, and just get a hand on the ball is a testament to his big game capabilities. Now, Nathan Cleary, 24 points individually in the second match. The next to the posts, he converts. A lovely hit back by New South Wales, and we are locked together in the decider for 2022, and Junior Polor with another rumble back at the Moraes defence. He's had a great start, Junior. In commentary tonight, Andrew Johns, who masterminded New South Wales' last decider success here at Suncorp Stadium way back in 2005. And Cameron Smith, seven victories in deciding games. Five as captain for Queensland. An offload from Crichton to Tedesco. He's got Luai, but he wasn't close enough to fire a pass. Some room up the middle of the ruck there for the Blues and Coruscant for Luai. His old teammate Capel comes in to stop him. But the Blues have got their tails up now. Grant's on the field for Queensland. Cleary fires a pass. Crichton with a deft kick. That's a lovely kick by Crichton under pressure and in heavy traffic. Oh, that was composure at its finest. Stephen Crichton, he had plenty of options. 
Nathan Cleary, we see here under pressure from Harry Grant. He chooses to run the ball. A nice long pass to Crichton, and he summed it up beautifully. Queensland, they're under pressure right now. They need to hold on. They need to grit their teeth. James Tedesco, he's just oh, he's starting to carve them up. Made already, Junior. The barnstorming colossus with silky skills from the Parramatta Eels. Oh, he, he said during the week he wanted to start and he got his wish. Now Cleary goes to the line with Martin, who's played uh, all three games off the bench last year and starts all three games in Series 2022. Chorus out. Cleary for Polo once again. Stop within six metres of Queensland's line. The Maroons defence being tested once again. Luai Burton, excellent tackle. Oh, there's experience. That's Gagai. They weren't really thinking about dropping him, were they? Cleary with a kick that he wants to get to the in goal. Oh, it's been bobbled. It's been bobbled. By both teams, I fancy. Yeah. It's a knock on from New South Wales. He's Cor the first one by Queensland, though. There's about four different knock ons here. I have no try. It'll be double knock on. Arpy is offside and in front of the kicker. Just make sure he's inside the 10, though, because the ball is played out by Queensland. Shapes this ball, Nathan Cleary. Is that Coruscant? Is he offside? Yeah. Happy Coruscant is offside at this stage. Yeah, this will be a penalty. Happy Coruscant is within 10 metres and active in the play. We have a decision. It's a let off. Big let off. So yeah. some respite for, for the Maroons. You, you cannot yeah, get that wrong at this point. You've got to stay here. That half a yard. Be a Great kick from Nathan Cleary. Just hammered it with that shape bending away from the dead ball line. Cameron, you've played more Origin games than anyone. Can you remember a start like this with drama and oh, just the, the freneticism? Oh, recent memory, no, Matty. You'd have to go back quite some time to match this physicality, this intensity. We've seen game one and how fast it was, but, geez, I, I can't say we've seen the hits like we have tonight. It's unbelievable. Billy Slater trying to mastermind a series victory in his first try as Queensland coach and Brad Fittler looking for a fourth series win as Cherry Evans links up with Ponder on the right-hand side of the field. Here's the Telstra tracker, maximum speed, Tom Deaton, 33 kilometres per hour. Tedesco, the next. So we'll see more of that as the game opens up from the outside men and they get some space. Harry Grant. Daly Cherry Evans. Tedesco perfectly poised. Now Tupo. Well, he was a controversial selection back at the start of this series, but his ability to yardage has been invaluable for New South Wales and to Desco. Desco again. Isn't everything. Well, oh, this is a real captain's hand. Now, oh, Jacob Saifidi, <laughs> welcome to Origin. Oh, what? A steamrolling run to start his time in the Blues jersey. Now, Cleary with an offload. Yo there. Oh, they wasted an offload then. The ball had to go wide. Cleary, airborne. Oates there. Oh, there's some confusion. Ponga, he diffused it. How about Jacob Saifiti? <laughs> That's his first touch in origin. You remember that one? I think so will Jeremiah Nenai. <laughs> Gets his elbow straight to his chest. So with Jacob's selection here tonight, he and Daniel become the third set of twins to play State of Origin Rugby League. The Queenslander chant. Nice. Oh, they've got a penalty here, and you just fancy that they were stuck for momentum there. They were. They weren't going anywhere, the Queensland Maroons. I think it was Jakey Dubovic. He'd come in on a flop. 
tackle was completed and he's just come in late and put a bit of weight in there. So now, youngest player on the field by two years. Only turned 19 this year. Oh, he's, he's all class. Now Grant, for Ben Hunt, he plays short to Carrigan, so Hunt remaining on the field and Grant in doing the dummy half work and Deere in another ball playing option. Away to Holmes. There's Jake Trebilevich, the everywhere man. Grant weaving. It's Tino in centre field. Oh, Crichton was waiting for him. Excellent tackle. The Maroons within striking distance, though, and Grant is the danger man. And Hunt plays out the back. Dearden. Oh, a pass just didn't find the mark there. There was a real chance for Queensland out left. It was a big tackle from Tupac. Needed to be made. Well, Gilbert's enjoying his first foray into origin. Did it! Oh! He it to Oates! Call it for a pass! Forward pass. Forward pass. The referee was in line. That was a special play by Did and though. That was Harry Grant. Yep. It was Harry Grant's play. Just watch the trickery from Harry Grant. Sends the markers one way. Cameron? Well... It was tackle five, and he got up, and it seemed like a little bit of confusion. It was the Jeez, touch judges. Oh. It was the touch judges call, and the and the fans in the eastern stand they are absolutely get, piling into him right now. Jesus, flat. That's a 50-50 call that one. Oh, two beautiful plays there. The trickery of Grant and gee, Tom Dearden has settled into this environment. He's playing well, isn't he? What a transformation. Debuted 18 as a Bronco, Tom Bearden, and a mid-season swap to North Queensland last year. He could not possibly have imagined he'd be 12 months away from making an origin debut. Here's Luai. Gee, he's having That's a game a as well. And New South Wales win a penalty. Yeah, they like their chances. And that gap between oh, now and there is Clare, He taps and takes off everyone to turn their backs. It's the gap between Nanai and Cherry Evans. They're punching away there, the Blues. Oh, he's quick between the ears, Nathan. And Saifidi. We've seen nothing like this before. 116 games in the NRL for the Knights. A maiden appearance for the Blues tonight. Crichton, eight metres out. There's Yo feeding it out the back line. Tedesco with a dash himself. He's held there by Gilbert. And Dearden, so the two debutantes combining in defence. Clearly for Yo, one bounce, Luai, he's very dangerous against fractured defence. He got the ball back to Jake Trebojevic, who broke out of the first attempt at tackle. Nine metres out from the line. Luai, oh, it bounces over Ponga's head. He got a touch on it, though. It'll be a goal line dropout and more pressure for the Maroons to absorb. It was an awful bounce for Kalen Ponga, but that man there, he's come up with another big play for the Blues, Jerome Luai. A nice little kick into the in goal. He's just applying more pressure. Taking more energy out of the Maroons. Does he go short? Saifidi rumbling back. Fijian semi-trailer there. Good luck. So forceful with his running. And Jack Trebojevic now. Put down by Rasul Malaawi, just outside the 20. Coruscant playing right. Yo's been heavily involved. And Cleary's pulling the strings. And Martin is running on an angle back towards Ben Hunt and Harry Grant. Fast play the ball. The Blues trying to build from it. Cleary with a kick. Crichton might have been taken out here. Carrigan taps over the back. Yeah, the Penrith combination around the middle of the field is causing so many headaches for Queensland. Watching Abby Corusau, Cleary, Isaiah Yo, and to a lesser extent, Jerome Luai just swinging around the rock and combining beautiful Lockie. Yeah, they're starting to get tired, the middle forwards for the Maroons. they just got to keep moving their feet when the ball goes away from them. At the moment, the Blues keep going to the outside. But 
I suspect a change of angles coming soon. The Maroons need to stay alert. Is that an impact? Jacob Safidi. Now, Lockie just spoke about changes of angles. I've got a feeling it might be James Tedesco. Look at Potlaw. He's run backwards seven metres to go forward. And then he bumps away from Carrigan. And just watching James Tedesco. He's everywhere. He's sniffing. He's looking for opportunities. Cleary now. Yeah, double up on those runs. Got to go again. He's put down centre field on the 10. There's something cooking here. You bet it is. Jacob Saifidi scores the try for New South Wales. His brother scored one in last year's series, and now he's on the try scoring sheets. What a start for Saifidi. Jacob Saifidi, we spoke about the impact that he's had since entering the field of play. His first carry, outstanding. And now he gets himself on the try scoring list. Harvey Norman replay. Happy Coruscant. It was the work from Happy Coruscant. The exact reason why Brad Fittler has brought him into this football team. Just that subtle movement around the ruck, showing left, back out to his right, isolating a defender for the big man, Jacob Saifidi. And he is one happy blue. The New South Wales coach, Brad Fittler. Good time to come to you, Brad. What a moment for your debutant front rower. Yeah, well, he's been outstanding, so um, yeah, I reckon the hooker happy would have seen his first four or five runs and thought, well, if I can get this bloke into a, any one-on-one -on -one situation, then he's a good opportunity. So it was, uh, yeah, nice work by both of them. Freddie with a few head knocks to Queensland. Some of their big boys will have to play more minutes. Will that change the way you attack? Well, we just need to get down here, Joe. We've had three sets down here, and you can see fatigue kick in, I think. For the first 15 minutes, we couldn't get out of our own den. Um, their defence was they were up quick, and I sort of got to applaud us for not losing our heads. So, you know, at the end of the day, we a couple of opportunities, a couple of good kicks, and I uh, set a bit of fatigue in. Thanks, Brad. Cleary from point blank. State of Origin game here at Lang Park slash Suncorp Stadium. And after Queensland scored first, New South Wales have wrestled their way back in front on the scoreboard, 12 points to six. Let's go to the former New South Wales captain, Paul Gallen. Yeah, yeah, boys, well, we know it was a brutal start oh. to the match. But since then, the Blues have really weathered the storm. The Maroons were great for the first 15 to 20 minutes, but just feel the last 12 or 13 minutes, the Blues are starting to gain the ascendancy in this match. Well, Gal, you were in the middle of a lot of this. Can you remember a start with the physicality like this? Not, not, not as brutal as the start of this match. It was unbelievable. They were just throwing themselves at each other. There was a lot of technique involved, but they are putting their bodies on the line, that's for sure. They've got the best seat in the house down there. Wherever you're watching, you must be just soaking this in. It is quite the event. Now, Martin. Now, Tedesco in the last series. going to dash down the short side and a kick back in behind. But Dearden is there to mop up. James Tedesco, 150 running metres already. We're not even at half time. Need their outside backs here, Queensland. He's Gagai. They're big men in the middle of the field, done a lot of tackling. Big challenge here for Daly Cherry Evans, how he controls the speed of this game. He's yeah, got to, he has to understand how hard his big men are working. He needs to give him a breather now and then. Pulls the trigger, but he can't evade Tedesco. Oh, look at the acceleration. He's coming, he's coming tonight, the captain, to make a statement. I thought game two in Perth, he, he was out of this world. He was, he was just the master class from Nathan Cleary. Stopping getting man the match there. They're two wonderful fullbacks, aren't they? Tedesco, power running, and the sublime skill of Ponga. Lovely offload there. Uh, Jake Trebojevic. Oh, we've got an obstruction penalty. Yeah, there's a sneaky little obstruction. He's, he's dirty with himself, Jakey. He just, unfortunately, 
when he received this ball here, he took off. Not unintentional, of course, but restricted a Queensland defender. Now the Maroons, they find themselves 23 metres out. Huge, huge time in the game here. Massive. The shadows of half-time. And the key, Harry Grant. Harry Grant's got to get out of dummy half. Got a few focal points out there with Ben Hunt playing in this ball playing lock roll. He links up with Cherry Evans and Nanai. Some more lovely smooth footwork there. Right foot step that time, but Burton dragged him down. It comes to Grant in the middle and Carrigan. 13 out from the Blues line. Yo in there with Jacob Saifidi. It's Ben Hunt short to Tino who's dropped the ball. Yeah, he. Well, he he, he double pumped there, and I think Tino just dropped his concentration for a moment. He thought he was going to play out the back, Ben Hunt. Yeah, the pass was never on. He's premeditated, double pump. The pass was never on, and the pass went down to his knees. Poor pass there from Ben Hunt. Yeah, I thought game one changed when Harry Grant was getting out of dummy half. Just picking up on that further too, Andrew. New South Wales hatched a plan to, uh, to try to, to curb his influence on the game. He ran in game two for half the number of metres he did in game one. And in fact, even the number of runs was down. So clearly they, they worked heavily on trying to quell Grant's attacking spark. Jacobs, Feedy, the rougher the better for him. He hit him with a baseball bat, he wouldn't care. Cleary, here we go. Oh my. Oh, Kalen, we have a problem. It's up there forever. <laughs> it's the highest kick in history. That is breathtaking. Did that go higher than the kick in Perth? That, I'm sure it did. If we can get it. <laughs> have we got a, have we got a camera that can go that way? in the truck if you get a stopwatch. Here's Capel now trying to attack down that right hand edge. It is hard to articulate just how high that kick was. That was higher than Perth. Kalen moved 10, 15 metres and still didn't, he's still two metres away from it. <laughs> oh dear and jammed. They saw the ball coming and it was clearing. Yeah, great vision defensively from Nathan. And Gilbert could, could play the ball there. Now Terry Evans to bang a high kick towards Daniel Tupo's wing. Oh! A mistake from Tupo. And a timely one for Queensland. They rush down to set up here with 90 seconds until half time. Mark that moment down. Is that a turning point in this game and in this series? Nanai. Queensland trying to strike right on half time. The fans are urging them on. Cherry Evans across the ground. Deared into Ponga. Sells a dummy. Steps up the left foot. Dragged out in a good tackle. Uh, Crichton, along with Nathan Cleary, played inside the 10. Dearden. The Carrigan, who runs run. very purposely. Grant and Hunt stepped away from Martin. Uh, Crichton there as well. And Saifidi, part of it. Six more. Six more tackles. They are bashing on the door here, and Tino nearly bashed it over. Martin holding down. They're happy to hold down because half time is just about here. Dearden wraps around the back. He beat Luai, but he couldn't beat Jack Trebojevic, and not many do. 15 seconds until half time, probably two plays. Grant dinks it through. Keep on. Oh, Capel's beaten them all. Has he got it down, though? He's awarded it. A Harry Grant kick 
right on the money, and that was sheer will by Kate Ball to win the race to the ball. And what a great play there by Harry Grant. As we see the replay here, Harvey Norman replay. Daniel Tupo, he got all tangled up. And he just got his fingertips to the ball. And look at this play here. Well, Tedesco was caught at marker. Oh, he, was, he had no idea what was happening. Harry Grant, he does a lovely little pirouette. Drops the ball on the right foot. It ricocheted off Luai and Capewell. He has done so well to get the ball down there. Queensland, they score their second. He had a birthday yesterday, Kurt Capel. He won the grand final on this ground with the Panthers. He's wearing jersey 11. That's the number Arthur Beetson wore in the first origin. He just pause it there. That's James Tedesco. And when he thinks the play goes away, he fades in behind here. And then... Harry Grant, this is a premeditated play, just let it roll. Watch Tedesco, he'll go in looking to go behind, pulls the defence up, and then Capewell, he just wanted it more. A big game player, Kurt Capel. He's won two premierships, you know. He won one with the Sharks as well. That's the Caxton. Well, there'll be, uh, there'll be Forex and Bundy and whatever, you, whatever else you want flowing if Queensland can go on to win this. We might even set Andrew up for a Forex after the game. <laughs> Valentine Holmes to lock us together at half time. The kick is unsuccessful. It's one of the most breathtaking 40 minutes of origin football we have seen in 43 years. The decider hangs in the balance. At half time, New South Wales 12 beat Queensland 10. Danica Mason. Yes, I'm here with James Tedesco. James, a two point lead at half time. How did you assess that first half? Yeah, we're, we're playing really well. We're just um, letting them back in the game with that discipline, but the size of the ball, so um, we'll be right. Good luck in the second. Thank you very much, Dedica. Thank you to James Tedesco. It is 12-10, New South Wales leading Queensland at the break. The state of origin decider after the break. We are going to pick apart what was an unbelievable 40 minutes of footy right here. Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. Exclusive live and free on Nine's Wide World of Sports.